Hey guys, how are you today? So this is my May update video. I hope you enjoy it because we have some things in bloom and out of bloom, going out of bloom anyway, and then starting to grow. So I will show you now. First thing is just amazing. I love this plant now. It's Angrecum didierii. And if you don't have this, this is a pretty easy grower. Um, I kept it in a little bit of lower light, maybe a little bit too low during the winter time. And then when spring time hit, I bumped it up uh, to a higher shelf. So it got some more, like, a lot more light, but it was more morning sun. So either way, it seems like it really liked it. And it has a beautiful flower with a really long spur. Um, for like a really long spur for the flower but it's just really beautiful I haven't been out here at night time hopefully tonight I'll be able to come out um, and see how nicely fragranced it is but there it is I hope you like that we got some, another bud coming here and another bud coming over there we had another bud um, on this back side but I came in here and it had turned yellow. I, I tried to, its little spur was stuck and I, I broke the end of the spur and I don't know what, if that's what caused it to go yellow or not. But either way, I get to enjoy these beautiful flowers and I am just in love with this plant. Um, things are just growing up top really. Um, my Catlia Emerald Queen is going out of bloom. She lost two of her buds, but uh, there's this one left. This is the um, Leptodes bicolor. And you can see all the little blooms, little net on the flower. Um, very nice. But I do believe it does have some virus in it because that is some color breaking on that lip. But Either way, it's really pretty, um, and I have quite a few buds. But it hangs to where like nothing's underneath of it, and when I water it, I go it gets soaked in its own container by itself, so I don't have to worry about it um, touching any other plants. This is my beautiful butterwort, and it is just like packed with flowers, and I am really loving this plant uh, it gets rid of all my fungus gnats although I do believe um, there is some fungus gnat in this, this soil um, because they've made their home because it stays damp um, back here my um, Brassia Rex is maturing this pseudobulb so we will see and it's also coming out with that new growth so We'll see if it gets um, some spikes on it. I don't know if it will or not. I hope it will. But, um, yep, it's doing really nice. Things are just growing. Uh, I had to move this up to the next level because this is the Catacetum um, Ten Dragons SVO by Ten Dragons Wicket. And it is growing like crazy. But I am... <laughs> I have lots of hope for this plant for this year, so I hope that it does well. In the back is that blue Catley across, and it's just has a whole bunch of new growth coming on it. Down below here is my Fred Clarkia yeah, After Dark, has two uh, two growths coming on, on it, doing really nicely. Just Catley seedlings down here, just growing away, some Catacetums as well coming out of dormancy uh, my beautiful string of hearts that Susanna gave me are just taking off like crazy um, so I'm really excited about that this next shelf this is the Catlia that I got from Florida last year uh, you can go back in my videos and see what the flower will look like I got this at Lowe's down there and it was just a really beautiful flower there is some new growth coming on it. The oldest new growth is maturing right there. So I'm hoping that they'll, the last time uh, the growth matured, they weren't very big and they didn't have flowers on it. But that was because 
that it was in really bad shape in the pot, but it was still a beautiful flower and I hope it will bloom soon. Um, really nothing going on over there. Um, next, this is the uh, Naoki cross that Naoki gave me. Um, and it's still really good. I put it in um, Lanka pellets with uh, hydrogen pellets, either one. But, uh, and also I put styrofoam in it. It really didn't like when this dried out at all. It did not like it at all. There were some new roots that came out on it and then they decided to shrivel up and die. So they were really healthy too. Um, but I noticed that they really liked the styrofoam because there's a lot of new root growth on the styrofoam. So I might see if I can like pot it up in just like a basket with styrofoam and like maybe some Spanish moss when I go down to Florida, I'll bring some back. So we will see. This is the B, um, Brasio Catlia Hippo, Hippodama Damia. Uh, anyway. So there it is, it's maturing, it's you new, know, it's growth. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this Sarcochylus. I don't know if it's the spike has just gave up on me, what it's doing. Uh, it doesn't look dead, dead. It does look a little bit yellow, but it's not squishy either. Uh, I don't really know what's going on. And it looks like a bud on the end, but it's really been slow at growing. So we will just have to wait and see on that. All the Neophonicias down here are doing wonderful, full of new growth and new roots, and I just love them. They're doing great, so. Really happy about that. Going over again. Um, I try to keep this watered a whole bunch. And that's my Kylochista. And it has some new root growth coming out on it, so I'm really happy that it's not dead. Uh, da -da -da. That is my Dendromium Spectabulae that I saved from a bag baby, and it is doing wonderful, and I cannot wait for. Uh, this season of new growth and things like that. So that'll be really nice. Um, my Bellina, it had three, like two spikes and then another spike started to emerge and then one of the old spikes had died off. But I do have two spikes still. So we will see when that blooms. One of the Catlia crosses that I got from SVO not too long ago is starting new growth. So that's really nice. I'm happy about that. Up above my LC log tone, it had really bad sunburn, but then it came back and gave me a sheath with buds inside. So I really love that plant a lot. Uh, different things going on. Uh, this Catlia from SVO has a sheet. Has a sheet. Let's see if I can get there. Down in that leaf, but it dried up really fast. So I don't. I mean, I don't know if it'll come out with buds or not. The one right beside it that I got the same time. I split this growth open because I'm just nosy like that, and there is buds inside. And I thought the other one was going to end up blooming before this one. I'm going to see if I can get you where you might be able to see these buds. I don't know if I will be able to or not. Yeah, you can kind of see them. But they're in there. They're right in there. So we will have to wait and see what this looks like. I might not be here when it blooms, but we will get somebody to take a video of it. That's for sure. One of these vandas, I just stuffed in this basket with a little bit of Spanish moss, just growing some roots. Uh, my grandma brought it to me. But that's really nice. The uh, Prostechia cochleata, I mean, not Prostechia. Um, I strung it, why can't I think of the name? I say cochleata, that's the other one. Um, Give me a second and I will get back to you. <laughs> I 
there is my beautiful Cyclopsis Mendenhall in bloom once again with the bud coming on its way. And man, I am just having a brain fart today. It is. Maxillaria tenifolia. I knew that. It's just been one of those days. Anyway. It is going out of bloom. Um, but it's been really nice while it's lasted. You have all these humongous pitchers on my pitcher plant. Doing really nicely. It gets a little too much sun. It has some red tinges on it. That's because I have nowhere else to put it. It's just too big. It just has to deal with it. This is the new Lycasti hybrid. The other bud opened up for me. The, this bud, this bloom isn't as big as the last one. But that's okay. It's beautiful nonetheless. And then there is the new growth on it. Now, now this Prostechia cochleata or Encyclia cochleata, whatever you want to call it, that is in bloom as well. Three spikes. I have to get it out of that corner and clean it up a little bit. There's a couple of dead leaves on it and the ends need to be trimmed up, but it is a really beautiful flower. There is a new leaf coming out on my Phalaenopsis um, Shirleyana and um, it's just really nice new leaf and I'm really enjoying that. The foliage is just beautiful, so that's why I like it a lot. Even when it's not in bloom. Um, this is my Dracula Lotex, and it has spikes coming on it. So, all over, really. So, there's spike. There's a spike. There's a spike. There's a spike coming out. But... It's doing really nicely. It needs to be watered, I can tell already. It's dry. They dry out really fast, but it's nice. I'm happy that it's in spike, and I can't wait to see it in bloom again. And then, just all that stuff is new growth and finishing up blooming. You've seen it before. And then this is the... Uh, Told you it's just one of those days. Um, there you go. Amazonica by Amazing Cochleanthes. Uh, it's just a really nice plant and it's doing wonderful and I'm really happy. It has three new growths on it. So those two growths and then that one. And they're really fat new growths, so I'm really happy and I hope they do okay. There's all my paths, they sit there and they sit there and they just don't do really anything for me. I try, I try really hard, um, but they don't, that's all right. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video and I hope you enjoyed my wonderful plants and I can't wait to see all the other people's plants on YouTube for their update if they haven't done an update already. But I will leave you with this beautiful flower right here. And once again, this is Ingrecum de Dirion. Alrighty, guys, but well, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.